wanted to um, go ahead and talk about, you know, I, I had shown um, applying the glue to this piece of paper where there might have been some concern with the glue penetrating the paper, which you can see that it did not. But mm -hmm. I also have this um, piece of silk, um, and it's really not, it's almost like more of an organza kind of material, but it's very thin and delicate. Um, I don't want this red band on it, so I'm going to try to just pull that off. Mm -hmm. I think I might go ahead and just use some scissors. I have some here. Oh, I've got a pair there. Thank here. you. You're welcome. Will you save the red band? I will. I will. That'll probably wind up being a nice um, pop-up color in another mm -hmm. collage. I was hoping you would say yes, because <laughs> that's a cool little piece. So, even though I think this are going to hang over and I'll trim it later. I'm just at least getting that off because it's kind of distracting me. But applying the um, adhesive to something like this is similar to the fragile papers. Um, I will go ahead and just do the full coverage. Um, Bearing application of the glue, uh, covering every inch of this fabric, and I'm really trying to um, not pull because I think this fabric is is older and it's it's delicate. delicate. Mm -hmm. So I'm really trying not to pull too hard with my brush um, so that I don't rip it. And when I do accidentally rip a piece of an, an element that I plan to use, I've learned to just let go of being upset about it and um, call it those happy little accidents. Mm -hmm. And if I have a tear or something um, in my work, then later on when I come back, I'll even accent or emphasize that tear a little bit. And I think of it kind of like how the Japanese would repair a piece of pottery with a, a line of gold and so instead of hiding the fact that there was um, a break and it kind of mm -hmm. elevates the status of the work um, and that um, really creates kind of this intrigue even when people come to look at it. Mm -hmm. What are some of the most common questions you hear when people view your work? One of the most common questions that I hear is, um, you know, where did you find all this stuff? Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, when once people come in for a closer look at my work and they realize that um, there are all these um, pieces of material that I've brought together in a collage, because from a distance, a lot of times, people might think that it's a painting, mm -hmm. even. Um, but when you come in close and you realize that there's all these different elements, you get really curious about where they come from. And um, I really uh, enjoy going out and shopping for material at antique stores or mm -hmm. flea markets, um, estate sales. Um, it's just, to me, when I'm, when I'm running out of ideas or when I'm feeling dry in the studio, even though I have enough material, um, to make collage for the rest of my life. Um, I like to go out and look for new material, for new, and it just is kind of um, a way to bring new inspiration into the studio. Mm -hmm.